Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tie an advanced grouper rig. You're going to need a couple supplies for this. First, you're going to need some hooks. I prefer mustads. You want circle hooks. I use 6 slash 0. You can also use 5 -oh too. Secondly, these are optional. I like to use them. They're beads. They're for making the sound better, not clinky keeping your line unscathed and just overall good tool. They also look like fish eggs too, which I don't know if that attracts the fish or what, but these are definitely a good tool. And then you're gonna want some swivels, heavier swivels that you can connect on the end of the line, like right here. It makes it so much easier to tie and just way better option. You guys are also gonna want some double sleeves. These things are lifesavers. They're way better than knots when you're trying to catch grouper. This is one of them right here. They just keep it in place way stronger, much easier. Never have to untie or tie anything. You're also gonna want a circle weight, an egg weight, as I should say. You could use five oils, you could use four. Doesn't really matter. They're both about the same. I like to use five though, a little more heavier, get it down faster. You're also gonna want 80 pound leader line. This is the most important thing. You want heavy enough that you can catch these big grouper, okay? You're gonna want some crimpers and you're gonna want some scissors. Let's get into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab some of your leader line. You're about mm, a foot and a half. You're gonna to wanna to keep it on here for now. Okay, you're gonna grab your double sleeve first. This little double sleeve, about $2.99. Get a smaller kind that'll fit your floral carbon. You're gonna run through the left side first, like so. Leave the other side open for now while you put this hook through. Keep it in there. And now, see, all I have is this tag end of my leader line, this right here. And I'm gonna wanna press my double sleeve up kind of against it, but not too much so I can leave it a little loop. I'm gonna then bring the tag end through the double sleeve, peeking it through, like so. I'm gonna bring it up a little more. And then poke it through. There, that's all good now. See how I have a little bit of space so the hook can still have its fully function motions and be able to keep around. And then I'm gonna wanna take my crimpers. Make sure not to cut the line. You wanna get it right on your double sleeve to tighten it up against the fluorocarbon. And just squeeze them down on your double sleeves to make it really tight along that fluorocarbon. No slips. Just keep on squeezing that down to the hook. Make sure to keep readjusting that. You want to really squeeze it down good so it never comes loose. <clears throat> that should be about good. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to do that. Okay, now we're gonna take the scissors, cut the line about a foot, a foot and a half. See this? This is the hook and this is how it's still connected onto the main circle. I'm gonna cut it about right here so I have this much left. Sometimes you have to cut right there. Cut. So now 
all I have is this line and then my tag end. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, this is totally optional for this rig. You do not need these plastic beads. I prefer them because they keep my line more strong and keep a better sound and don't scare the fish away, but you do not need it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, got the hook right here, I'm gonna put one bead through, slide it down on top of the hook like so. Then I'm gonna slide this egg weight on top of my red bead. Okay. This egg weight is really good for rough waters by bridges and really gets the bait down there and keeps it down there steadily. Cause those grouper do not want to see any movement from your guys' lines. I'm telling you guys that right now. This, I'm gonna put that be second bead on top. See how I put it on top of that weight? You're gonna want to slide that down just like that through the tag line, like so. So now you should have this. Pretty simple. Uh, this egg weight can still slide around. So that's why this is so effective. The grouper don't have to put too much pressure on this hook. As if you had a steady stay still hook and steady stay hill weight that held it down, they would have to pull so much pressure on this. So this is all good now. Just gotta scoot that weight down. Okay. Now, after you got that all done, you're gonna wanna take this side, the tag end side of your line that you'll connect to your main line. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab another crip, okay? Or double sleeve, very important. Put it through like we did last time. Like so along the tag line. And then what you're gonna wanna do, grab that swivel. This swivel's a very heavyweight swivel, 125 pound test. You're gonna want one like this for those grouper to hold on to your main line too. And for main line, I use braid. Braid is the most important thing you need to use to catch the grouper. Your main line should 100% be grayed. You can tie it right on the swivel easily too. So how we're gonna do this, we're putting this swivel right on top of this double sleeve that we have here. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the hook. We're gonna wrap this tag in line around the swivel and up through the right side of our double sleeve. As like that. See how both sides are through now? tag end and everything, swivels below it, and the double sleeve is right here. What we're gonna do now is get your crippers. With your crippers, get right on that double sleeve and squeeze. And guys, after you squeeze a lot of pressure on that, you're gonna be all set to go catch some grouper. I'll tell you guys that right now. This is one of the best rigs you could use for grouper. It's a little expensive, but as I said earlier, go check the description down below for an easier, cheap, cheaper way to set up a grouper rig. It's still really effective, but this is definitely where it's at, guys. All you have to do after you tie this is now to your swivel right here, end of it, connect this to your main line just by a simple knot. And I'll also add that to the description, how to tie a simple knot that's super strong. And guys, hope to see you guys on the water. See y'all later.